Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing. Our new item, and it's the uh, Anki Vector Robot. And uh, it's originally $249 on the website, down to about $92 on Amazon. It's a pretty cool little gadget. Um, I was originally looking for an item that was um, an Amazon Alexa, but I noticed that most of those like dots and everything that's all they do is they're just an Alexa so this is actually a built-in Alexa but also a little assistant robot always on does a whole bunch of different things you can see here feel think communicate and self-charge so um, I was looking at that he kind of is like your little assistant and you can take notes and tell you the weather and um, basically do everything with a little bit of a personality. So he has metrics behind it, but um, it's got an HD camera so he can recognize facials, facial recognition, um, you can hear all the things so he can listen to you. He has four array uh, microphones so he always knows where your position. Um, he actually has an accelerometer so he knows when you pick him up and when he's touched and um, has haptic feedback. And don't shake him because then he'll freak out. Uh, but he, he communicates things for himself and kind of just roams around. So let's get into the unboxing and initial review. Packaging is awesome. I mean, if you look at it, cloud connected, voice activated, personality, aware surroundings. Um, kind of going over the little bit of specs here. Um, he has a Qualcomm Snapdragon quad core processor, infrared laser scanner, HD camera with 120 degree ultra wide field of view. Beam forming four microphone array, six axis uh, inertial measurement, um, high res color IPS display, Wi Fi connection. Um, he always updates with the cloud, uh, he's autonomous, uh, he has intuitive interactions, which is really cool, he recognizes I think 20 different people, um, and detects and avoids obstacles, which is really neat. So basically, he's just made to hang out and interact and, and help you do your things you need to do. So, um, works with both. Apple and Android. Uh, let's see, basically, that's what you're getting here. So let's open it up. I originally got, I think we got this on Amazon, and it was a really good deal. This is after Black Friday, still, still on discount right now. So, uh, but ninety dollars down from two hundred and forty-nine. That's that's a pretty big deal. It's actually a nice coloring on there. You see here, packaging is actually really cool. Um, it's got this like textured, soft touch, grippy material. And what you're getting on the side is all of your start guides and everything like that. I'm not gonna use those for right now. Little cube, and actually this is a smart cube. And with this cube, he he interacts with it, finds it, carries it around, plays tricks with it. Um, pretty cool little gadget. Actually, let's pull him out first. So here's the unit, and uh, got some weight to it. It's pretty good weight. And here's the haptic feedback, so he recognizes touch. It's like a soft touch metal, and it's on tracks. Little lifters. So let's put him to the side real quick. So what else you get in the box? Charging stand. Um, he actually recognizes this and will search for it and return to it. He actually rides right up onto his own little track. And it comes with, well, it doesn't come with it, but it has a little um, hangout bay. And I have that somewhere. I don't know where I put it, but um, he has his own little hangout area. So that's basically it in the box. Nothing really much else in there. Put these back in. And let's go through some initial setup. I think this is cool because it. It's a cool toy for kids and adults because there's always something to do where we're going into a technology age uh, where everything's smart home, smart automated, and uh, this is a great way to link everything together in a fun, family-oriented way where it remembers family so kids can use it, parents can use it, and uh, here's my dog, sorry, hanging out with my dog. Alright, 
So let's go through initial settings. Okay. Basically what you need, compatible device, so phone or tablet or anything, 2.4 gigahertz, um, compatible Wi-Fi router. Um, let's see here. First thing we need to do, well actually we might have to do a follow-up video because we're going to have to we're going to have to let them charge for a little bit. So we'll do a follow-up video, and uh, we'll talk more about it later once we get to see it. And mess around with it a little bit more. Thanks, everybody. Okay, so we've had a chance to charge up the Vector and get a little bit of time on its charging stand. Let's go ahead and give it a connection to the app. Downloaded the Vector app. And what we need to do now is it needs to pair with our Bluetooth. Start pairing, place Vector on his charger, then quickly tap this button twice. Okay, it's going to end up giving you a code. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but essentially it's just waiting for the phone to connect. I'm going to hang tight for just a second while it does that. Perfect. And it's going to pair. Okay, so now we're hooking up to our Wi-Fi. And what we're doing here is connecting phone to our Wi-Fi network and then vector to the Wi-Fi network and just pairing the two together. Takes a little bit of time just to read it all, uh, but it's going through that startup process. So, I figure it's a good time to be able to just show you the initial setup process, just because we want to know how long does it take to actually get started. So, um, I've actually done this once before, and I reset it just to just to test it out for myself to see what it was like, learn the process um, before recording. But um, it's good to see the full process. And what you're going to see here is um, just connecting, just doing our thing. I was really excited to get this. Um, I was actually going to bring it to work with me and have it be my little office assistant. Um, but I figure having it at home, it can be my little photography assistant buddy. Now it's going to do some over-the-air uh, network uh, downloading for updates. Make sure that it's the most up-to-date version. Okay, once he's found, we will start testing out. Okay, Victor is now up to date. Okay, so what I'm going to do is at this point we need to pull the tab from the cube. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at Vector and see what's going on. So let's go through the process here. Hey Vector. Hey Vector. Hey Vector. Hey Vector. All right, there we go. There we go. <laughs> All right, so let's check some things out real quick. Test it while we are there. 
Here is the screen functionality. It shows you Amazon Alexa, Utility, Stats, Entertainment, uh, Vectors Q and A, so questions and answers, Interact, and uh, extra robot info. He actually has stats, and it's pretty cool because you can go through and see you know, how many times he's been woken up, distance that he's driven, um, petting duration, days active, utilities used. So he's actually um, messing around with his cube right now. And let's see. Hey, Vector. Hey, Vector. Find your cube. And last time I tried this, he actually threw it at me. So uh, <laughs> make sure. This is a rounded table, so he could just drive right off of it. But uh, he does have sensors on flat surfaces in order not to fall off. So he's actually looking at his cube right now, analyzing it. Let's move this box out of the way for him, because he's going to... Don't launch it. He found it. Oh, he's going to throw it. I know it. Where are you going? Good job. Sorry that this isn't centered. He's just kind of doing his own thing on the surface that I have provided. Alright, so let's take a look at a couple things here real quick. When you pick him up, he uh, he does respond, so... Hey Vector, what's the weather like? 55 degrees and sunny. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You can change his eye colors and everything like that, but... What we're gonna do now is we're gonna say, hey Vector, Hey Vector, go home. Last thing is, hey Vector, good night. There you have it. This is my review of the Vector by Anki. If you uh, liked what you saw, make sure to subscribe to my channel for future unboxing videos and uh, drop a like if you enjoyed this video. All right, everybody, take care.